Hi everyone, today is Friday, July 5th, 2013. Uh, quick update on my Ong Choi in Chinese, also known as the uh, Asian water spinach. Uh, so far, I have harvested this once. Uh, I planted this, what, over several weeks ago. And finally, they established. It took them a while to establish. It, it, I think it took them about maybe two weeks or two and a half weeks to establish themselves in this container. But as you can see now, the foliage is, is quite beautiful. Uh, it's very lush. Uh, initially, it's like this. Initially, when I bought this, uh, three starter, uh, I guess, clump, you want to call it. So initially, the leaves is kind of like this, uh, thin like this. But now, as you can see, they actually grow pretty, pretty wild. And look at this on top here. And as you can see here, look at this. So it's almost it's touching uh, the ground, and uh, like I say, I've been cutting them uh, for my last uh, last week. I, I cut uh, a lot of them, as you can see here. Look at all this cutting here, as you can see here. Uh, so I try and encourage to to side shoot. See, as as soon as I cut it, let me see if I can capture this in my camera here. I'm using my handphone instead of my other uh, HD camera. You see that? So this is the side shoots here. So you try and encourage a lot of side shoots here, so you can get a lot of branches. And that's when you want to harvest the branches, maybe from six inches to about a foot. Uh, that's when you want to harvest them, and uh, then, then they'll be tender. Like this one here, it'll be very nice and tender here, but it's very short. You can see here. See, this is this is the cut here, and the side shoots coming out, maybe two inches now. But this is the original one here. This one, I, I leave it the way it is and see how, how it grows. And it's over probably 24 inches long now. Also one thing is that the, the plant actually produces white flowers, very beautiful white flowers. Look at this. And maybe I can uh, let it go to sea and see if I can replant them in the pot again. Okay, so I've been trying to keep this uh, container very moist, very wet, and they seem to love it. Uh, my other propagations uh, didn't do so well. Uh, all the st all the uh, cuttings s produce roots, but when I plant them on the ground, as you can see here, a lot of them didn't survive. So hopefully, I think this one might survive, and this one might survive. But I have uh, over a dozen of them cuttings in here, and the majority of them didn't survive. I think it's the uh, maybe the temperature is way too hot. And uh, in the past several days, we have over triple digits degree. It's over 101, 102. And uh, Ong Choi, or water spinach, uh, needs a lot of moisture uh, in order for them to uh, sustain. But back to this one, uh, the container here. Uh, the plant's doing very well. Look at this leaf. Wow, it's, look at this foliage here. It's beautiful. Look at, look at it, over six, seven inches. Uh, long and look at this. This is uh, I think this this branch is the original from the from the plant, and some of this is from the after the cuttings. So so they're taking over this container. Uh, I only feed them like say organic material. A lot of uh, put a lot add some more compost, and I try to recycle the water after the after I water them. The water. Uh, spill over in the bottom container and I reuse the water back up to to rewater the, uh, the container and the, the soil is always moist and that's the only way you can keep them healthy and uh, alive okay so that's my uh, latest update on my uh, Ong Choi also known as Asian water spinach and tune in again next time and see if I can harvest some of the, uh, the seed pot here. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.